have a ton of long videos on how to check your proportions with all kinds of things like siding and structural line, but I wanna give you three quick techniques that I use all the time throughout my drawings. And I'm gonna show you some examples of how I use them throughout my drawings. So three things that I do to check my proportion are I use a camera and take a photograph. I use mirrors and look at my um, image in the opposite view. And then I also look at my images upside down. So let's take a look down and you'll see these are two drawings where <clears throat> I would definitely start by checking the proportion when I'm in the outline stage. So in this, on this drawing, I would check using the camera, using the mirror, or using the upside down method <clears throat> when I'm in the outline stage. But throughout a longer drawing, like this one or this one, I will still use those three methods as I'm shading because a lot of times what's, ha what's happening as you're shading is that you're kind of moving sections of a drawing around. And so um, your sizes and your relationship between sizes can get off. So throughout these drawings, I would check in those same ways. So let me demonstrate how to do all of those different methods. Okay, so what I'm doing here is taking a photograph of the drawing that I've been working on. When I first started this drawing, I was just looking at the photo of the dog to draw from that. Now that I've progressed farther into the drawing, I can take a photo of the drawing. And then what I want to do is look back and forth between the drawing, the photo of the dog, and the photo of the drawing of the dog. I know that's kind of confusing, but basically think of it like I've got the photo the drawing and the photo of the drawing. <laughs> Did that help? I don't know if that helped. But basically by triangulating between these three images, I can see little areas that need to be corrected and I can adjust them as I'm looking between these three different images. Okay, so this other technique that I wanna show you is um, uh, sourced from uh, Betty Edwards drawing on the right side of the brain and basically what she proposes is that when you turn a drawing upside down and an image upside down you're overriding the logic part of your brain where you're saying okay this is the hair this is the chin and you're just looking at the shapes and the spaces then so when I do this what I can see is that and you can see I already corrected here the chin was actually a little bit too long and then I can see when I look at this space between here and the hair, this hair is actually significantly lower down. So that space is now a little bit more appropriate. And you can do other kind of little um, adjustments like this. Like here I see that the spine is actually much closer to this side of the body than I have it. So I need to curve that around a little bit more and then I can take out where I had it. So it's those small hairline adjustments. That was actually a large adjustment to me, um, but it's these tiny adjustments that then when you turn it back right side around, you will start to see that your proportion is looking more and more accurate. So obviously there would be more things that I would need to correct here, but that is the process to go through so that you can look at your drawing upside down and the image upside down and make more adjustments. I will tell you that it also works if you just turn it sideways. You don't have to turn it all the way upside down. And in fact, sometimes what I'll do is I'll rotate all the way around. So I'll start on the side, then I'll work on it upside down, then I'll work on it on this side, and then I'll come back around to right side up. And by seeing it in all those different viewpoints, it's going to help me to catch little mistakes here and there that I didn't catch when I was just looking at it upright. Okay, so this is another method that I like to use to check my proportion, especially when I've been working on a drawing for a really long time. So remember that long drawings that I do take probably 20 hours, 30 hours, something like that. So it's not just like I'm drawing for a little bit. Instead, what happens is I'm looking at the same thing for so long, even if I take breaks and come back the next day, I'm still looking at the same thing and I don't necessarily have fresh eyes. So the way that I create a sense of fresh eyes is by using a mirror and holding the drawing up in the mirror. And that way I'm seeing the reverse image of it. 
and oftentimes something jumps out that I didn't see when I was just staring at it in the same old way before. So let me show you how that's going to look. Okay, so those three different techniques using the camera, turning my drawing upside down or sideways, and then showing my drawing in the mirror are the ways that I'm able to check my proportion when I'm working on a 20 hour, 30 hour, 40 hour plus drawing. And I hope that those techniques really help you guys out.